flip the page Give me some more Getting out of my way I was hiding Bulletproof Forever waiting Then came you I thought I was What I told I thought I was I thought I was What I Told I thought I was. I was picking up the pieces of yesteryear's life, and over my head, trying to figure out. I was going through changes, where to begin? When a mountain moving revelation came marching in, I thought I was what I been told I thought I was. All right, one more to go. We'll be good to go. Truck is disgusting. Look at this. All this little black stuff. All over the truck. I wiped this down in the Walmart parking lot. I bought some waterless wash. Wiped the truck down. Complete waste of time. All right. So our next pickup is in Missouri. We got two hours of deadhead. Oh, I thought we punched this in. I saw you punch it in. Ah, oh, it just stopped it. That's it right there, right? Yeah. Scott City, Missouri? Yeah. Oh, it's it's got to be it because it's telling me we're two hours away. I think it just doesn't know where we're, oh yeah, where we're at on the map. Oh. Simple, simple load. Nice and light. I don't know what we got for fuel mileage on that because we uh, idled the APU all weekend. Truck shows 7.6 though. I'm sure we got better than that. I know on the way up it was showing like 8.2. Obviously it's not like super duper accurate. I've been terrible, the luck. I've been terrible about Writing down our mileage and our fuel every time we stop. I just figured I would do it when we went home. I mean, I broke it down in another video. But this thing about flatbed and step deck, man, like it's one thing to like pull a van that's always aerodynamically the same, just the weight changes. But with flatbed and step deck, you're always, you never know if you're hauling something this tall or a, a Brigadier truck. Man, I am excited for Thanksgiving. I cannot wait. I love to eat. All right, I guess we'll see you guys in two hours in Missouri. Your door isn't shut, woman. Landed on cotton candy in your arms and survive. I'm still obsessed to rock bottom and below. I'm yours for the asking. Where you go, I go. I thought I was what I told. I thought I was. I thought I was what I been told. I thought I was. Been a long time, baby. Had a long time. Long.
All right, so Garmin and Google was sh showing us to go two different ways. I'm like, well, I'm gonna obviously follow Garmin because it's a trucker GPS. So it takes us back in some back roads and Lita's like, wait a second, Google's telling us to go a different way here. And we get to looking and it's the same exact address in both things, but they're like 15 minutes apart from each other. So I was like, let's go to Garmin since we're already down this way and see what it is. Well, it took us to a road that I was like, this can't be it. No, you're retarded. So uh, we ended up following Google and Google ended up being right. I'm telling you, man, this Garmin, am I blocking that road? I think I'm blocking that road. This Garmin is just retarded sometimes. So we're here. I don't see a yellow Cascadia. We're supposed to be picking up a yellow Cascadia. I mean, I'm hoping it's like maybe tucked in the back here. But I don't know. A bunch of grain trucks around. Oh, hopefully this is the right place, man. It's the it's what's on the uh, the sales sheet that they sent me. Guess we'll see when Lita gets back. We have to turn around down there. We gotta follow some guy in a red truck. It's not here. It's not here. No. Why do I have to turn around down there? I can't just back up and follow him. I mean, he said you could turn around down there. That's the way he told me to tell you. here we are there is the day cab so we're just gonna drop our ramps here get her loaded up that antenna might have to get unscrewed it's definitely gonna have to get unscrewed I think you might smack a bridge snap it right off all right let's drop our ramps here what I didn't hear you Oh, you got a loading dock. Ah, oh, I'll put the ramps up. <laughs> yeah, there's a load dock. You'll look. It's right around that corner. You can see it. Oh, it's man. The right height for you. Hey, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so much. We were just busting out the ramps, and that guy told us they've got a loading dock. Watch out, Fubbuts. So we put up the ramp and a half that we had out. We're gonna pull around to this dock. Well, there it is. Some people like to call us the semi-truck haulers. Huh? Where you at, woman? Just gonna ride. That's that cheap plastic. You wanna replace those as soon as, soon as you can. All right, woman. 
We still haven't ate breakfast yet. Uh, just been busy, busy. Lita had to refill out the uh, Florida, um, the Florida permit. Uh, our trailer is illegal. Watch out, babies. Our trailer is illegal in Florida unless you have a permit. Well, we can measure that. You're right. And uh, it's not tied to the trailer, it's tied to the truck. How stupid is that? Even though it's the trailer that's illegal. Dumb. Yeah, they tie the permit. Even though it's a trailer issue, it has nothing to do with how long your truck is. It's if you're over 48 feet. If your trailer's over 48 feet, just like California, then your rear axle can't be more than 40 feet from the kingpin to the rear axle. Somebody says we will need this, this COI to come directly from your insurance company. What COI? COI for RTS. Oh, they need an updated copy? Yes. Um, yeah, so it's anything over 48 feet, then the rear axle can't be further than 40 feet from the king pen. Because this is a 50 foot trailer, we're two feet over the 48 foot mark. But at least Florida lets you get like a permit. We have to buy, a, is it a, it's a yearly permit, right? Yeah, or is it annual. quarterly, annually? Annual. I don't know what this address is. I it's, tried a, to, it's a shop, I think. Okay, but I tried to look on the invoice and I can't read the address. Oh, really? I think we have his number, we could always call him. Where's it? Where, what city is it? Corbin. Corbin, Kentucky. Okay, Garmin. Corbin, Kentucky. Kind of see how far we are from it. See if we have enough time. We got seven hours on our clock. I can't find Corbin, Kentucky. Okay, Garmin. Corbin, Kentucky. Am I saying it wrong? C O R B I N? Yeah. Watch it, we'll find it. Oh, now it's going to find it. It didn't find it the first time. I hate this GPS. I hate this GPS. I can't say how, how much I hate this GPS. Like I said, if I start talking really good about Garmin, it's because I'm a sellout and they started sponsoring me to lie to you guys. Because they are trash. But they're the best of the trash out there is the problem. Like all these trucker GPSs, like this thing tries to take us on the... Uh, What's that? Uh, expressway all the time. So dumb. All right, we'll see you.
Well, we stayed at a uh, Love's uh, right down the road from where we got to drop this. I think we just all, we would have had enough time, but I think we ultimately decided because it was so dark out and there wouldn't be any parking spots left after we got here. So we decided to just go ahead and come here to the Love's and get it unloaded this morning. But now, now it's raining. So we have to unload that thing in the rain, which is not gonna be fun. Those ramps can be a little slippery. So I don't know, hope, hopefully it goes good. Well, it's really coming down now. Gosh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> we still haven't let the doggies out. We just woke up, it's about seven o'clock. Um, I mean, I guess coming down the ramps is probably probably better than going up the ramps. After we drop these, we've got to uh, run up to Winchester, Kentucky and pick up our uh, next load that takes us to Orlando that takes us home. So I'm excited. I, uh, I can't wait. Probably going to drop Lita off at the house on the way through and then continue the load down with uh, Nate. We're going to go pick up Nate. Lita's got to do uh, Thanksgiving shopping and she's got to work on the title for this truck. So we need to get her home working on stuff as soon as possible. Well, we've made it. Doggies didn't want to go outside because it was raining. They wouldn't let me get them out of the truck. <laughs> oh, looks like we're gonna unload this thing on the road. And then I'll probably have to back back out to that road to get out of here. Huh? Let's drop the air. Start unchaining her, hook up the ramps. Yeah. You look funny in camouflage. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there it is. We gotta get these ramps up. We gotta go to Winchester, Kentucky. I got the key in my pocket. You want the key? Yeah. 
take a picture over here. Man, those super singles are wild looking. I don't think I would ever run them though. I mean, once you have a blowout, man, on one of those axles, it's not like there's another one that you can limp on. I mean, I guess you could chain it up, but you couldn't chain it up on the uh, back axle. Is it the back axle or the front axle that drives, unless you lock them in? I don't know. All right, we gotta get this mess up. I think the, uh, the gods showed mercy on us and stopped raining for a couple of minutes, so that's great. I don't think we ever got a name, but they'll know. Do they know? Yeah, they know them. All right, unloaded. Still not raining, thank you. Thank you, trucking gods, or whoever did it for me. Fantastic, all right, let's get this thing aired back up. Lita's gonna get some paperwork signed, and uh, should be good to go. These doggies are probably freaking out. We might have to get a little bit further up north. And if it's not raining, put these doggies out. Loves that. Huh? Yeah. It's stupid. Fat buds. What you doing back there? Oh, you awake? Oh, Mickey's. Why would you cut in front of me like that, you moron? So sleepy. So we've got three pickups. We gotta go around this corner, pick up at a building over here, then go to the next building, pick up the other one. So we're we're right here. Uh -huh. 
we gotta drive around, go to this address, pick up some stuff. That's why some of these guys already have some stuff on their truck. I see. We didn't have to do that last time. Last time we just pulled in here and loaded up. This is uh, this is just a big. Um, I guess they got a bunch of different spots, but what's weird is we've picked up at each one of these spots individually, but got a full load at each of these spots. I didn't know they were all tied together. I didn't even know they were in the same vicinity. Yeah. I had no idea that place was over from this place, but we've been to both of them. So this is like three different pickups. Like, it, it, I don't know what's the word. Uh, neighborhood like a neighborhood but what sucks is it's like now we have to wait in line at three different spots rather than just waiting in line at one spot and then getting loaded now you go get loaded now you go wait in line get a couple of pieces go to the next place wait in line get a couple of pieces I just told to follow this forklift feller here Come on, why are you raining on us? This is stop number one. Like I said, we got two more after this. Down, we got one around the corner and then we got to go back to that first place that we were at. How are they gonna fit any more on here? I don't know. The forklift driver tried to get me to back out on this load. He's like, I don't think it's gonna fit on your trailer. It's like, well, you guys asked for a 48 footer. This is 50 feet, so you get two more feet. So if you can't fit it in, a trailer that's two more feet than what you guys asked for then somebody screwed up somewhere they're probably gonna have to stick something back on this side so we'll have to undo these straps when we get somewhere um, he did say I'll probably have to move these tarps um, the tarps I'm thinking about just moving down here onto the deck or onto the catwalk but I, I don't know I don't know what else we're picking up honestly what a nightmare. I am soaked to the bone. Everything from my rain jacket is just running off my rain jacket and soaking into these pants. And these are some new pants I just bought at Walmart. They have the, uh, like the fuzz on the inside of them. Uh, what's that called, babe? What's this fuzz on the inside of my pants called? Like felt? Fleece. Not felt. Fleece? Yeah. Fleece? All right, I'm gonna put you guys up. You guys are getting wet. It's freezing out here. I think this is the wettest I've ever been doing flatbed. I am soaked to the bone. Lita's on her last pair of pants. I'm soaked. Yeah. I am. I don't think I've been this wet doing this before. It's gonna suck, man, but I gotta turn some heat on to dry us off, you know what I'm saying? Oh, actually, we need, uh, we need that like that. All right, so now we go to building five. I don't know, unless they got some little bitty boxes to put on here, man. Even the guy was like, I, I hope they can get you loaded.
Carter State truck. Friendly. Carter State, stay here. Okay, we see you. All right, that piece right there is stop number two. I mean, we might fit this on here. This this might this might this might actually work. All right, now we have to go back to the very first one we were at. My gloves are gross. Um. I don't know if I go around this building or what. Did you grab my keys? Yeah, because she was sitting on my... up and done we didn't even have to move our tarps so the guy that tried to talk me out of taking this load uh, can suck it he said there's no way this load that I have was gonna fit on my trailer all they did was taking double stack this was back here he just stacked it up here and when they added this one here and they added uh, another little piece on this side here this little piece so that was that was our second stop. All this other was our first stop, and this and this back piece was this stop. So wasn't too wasn't too bad. I just wish they would be honest with you and let you know that there's I don't know, maybe they don't let the broker know. Yeah. Maybe they don't let the broker know that there's actually three stops because they, they might just consider this all one stop since it's basically it's all on the same street. But, like I said, you have to wait in line at each place. Lita's tightening down some straps. We had to add a strap to that front one because that's two straps on the front, two straps on the back. I am soaked to the bone. These doggies still haven't gone outside yet. It stopped raining now, so maybe we can pull off somewhere and let them walk. They did not want to go outside this morning. Well, they wanted to go outside and they put their paws up on my shoulder like they always do when I go to pick them up and take them out. And Nilla was like, nope. Went back in the truck and Mackie 
I guess she just copied fat butts, honestly. I don't think Mackie cares that it's raining. She's just a little priss like fat butts now because she looks at fat butts like, what do we do here? A lot. I don't know, it was raining pretty hard. I mean, it was raining pretty hard, but I feel like Mackie doesn't really care about that. She only went off of what fat butts is doing. Like fat butts will, uh, she'll get onto Mackie. Look at that, we finally get to take that air compressor out. That air compressor has been in this toolbox since we were broke down in the Mac. This trailer hasn't been home since we broke down in the Mac. <sighs> Almost there. Guess I should double, triple check all these straps. All right, we're going, uh, this isn't actually Orlando. This is Her Hernandon, Hernandon, something like that, which is by Orlando, so. I, I think we've been there before. I think it's that, I think it's that yard we've delivered to before right next to that truck stop. You remember what I'm talking about? They were kind of snotty there. It's that, it's that place right next to, I think. I don't know, who knows. All right, let me put you guys in the truck, double check all these straps, hit the road. Uh, it was nine hours to the house. And I think we have eight and a half hours left. We have eight and a half hours left. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Hey, fat butts. You okay? Being good girls? Well, we went right down the road so we can walk these dogs. And it looks like they still haven't cleaned this mess up, man. This is, uh, this is bad. Look at that, someone just throwing out like brand new products here, still in the wrapper. Some ice cream sandwiches. Look at that. There's some uh, pork chops, pork loin. It's uh, it'll probably still be here if you guys get hungry. I already found a couple of uh, rubber mud flaps I picked up, to take with us. I like to use those to protect loads. This here is hard plastic. Man, this place is gross. What you think, here. fat butts? No, Mac. Is this place gross or what? Who do you want me to take? I t I'll take Mac. We Mackie. can't walk them around here, dude. There's meals and shit. I know. There's stuff, stuff everywhere. Come on, Mac. Hey, stop. Stop. Stop freaking out. Let's get out of here. Yeah, there's a lot of disgusting stuff here to smell.
Thanks for watching.